What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, we are back here with another video. Now, today I'm going to be going over the tweets that Mike Wayne has made about NBA 2K25. So, he's talked about a lot. When I mean a lot, we're going to dive into a lot of it for as much tweets as he is releasing. You know, he's still releasing tweets as of right now. This video is being recorded at 12.17 in the morning on august the second and this video will release on august the second the question they asked was is the court slash player model ratio different we adjusted the player to court ratio in nba 2k25 to give players more room to operate it's improved the flow of the game and allows for certain cuts that would often get jammed up before basically it's saying that they did make the court bigger now making the court bigger or the court size was a complaint in nba 2k24 because if you do play the game i'm not gonna lie it's really no space on the court to operate especially if you playing randoms because randoms they like to try to set screens the court get real jammed up you can't really move you can't do nothing and the only option you have is to pass the random the ball or pass the ball in general so with the court being bigger that gives people more room to operate that gives you more room to just little to less or more room for error on the court if you really don't know what you're doing but hopefully you do know what you're doing on the court but i am glad that they did make the court bigger now they also asked mike wayne how was shot meters changed in nba 2k25 we got a glimpse of one of them in the trailer and it looked a bit more transparent than previous 2k's he responded to that tweet by saying the shot meter works pretty differently in nba 2k25 compared to previous games there are three options to choose from the arrow which is default ring and the dial rather than freezing when you release the shot button all of the meters animate from beginning to end in sync with the ideal time to release the button think of it more as a timeline of the shot animation rather than a traditional meter now i don't know if people will use the meter in nba 2k25 i did set a clip of the meter i did post a clip of the meter when um drew holiday was shooting that clip that's basically the meter that was talking about basically he said there are three different options for the meter and I'm not going to lie, it does look kind of cleaner with the transparency in there. Now, if you choose to use the meter, that's on you. I'm not blaming you. That's on you. Me, I'm not really going to use it. And he also says that the meter, size, color, and placement of the shot meter is fully customizable in the customized HUD. Hood. And yes, there is a small bonus for playing with the meter off. I'm glad there's still a small bonus because the first day I'm turning it off, I don't use the meter. I haven't used the meter since like 2K19, 2K20. If it don't give me no boost, I'm not using the meter. Now, the next question they asked Mike Wayne was, are there any changes to the passive mechanics of this game? And he responded to that tweet by saying, there are a number of improvements to passing overall, but the most noticeable is live passing logic. The targeting on lives is much better in NBA 2K25 and is really get great for advanced passes or leading a receiver to the basket over trailing defender. Control wise, bounce alley oops, and I'm trying to read the tweet off my phone, my fault y'all, are now triggered contextually and self alley oops have been moved to A plus B. I don't know why they moved the self alley oops from double Y or double triangle. Whichever console you play, I don't know why they changed it, but because I'm not going to lie, if you don't practice it or if you don't know that and you press A, B on accident trying to fake pass and you throw yourself a self alley oop and that's a turnover, somebody's going to get mad. I don't think that was really a change that was needed for the, because that's like the second time they've changed the alley oop button. Don't know why, but hey, it is what it is at this point. Now, somebody did ask, there is a couple more tweets I'm going to go over. Now, the next one I'm going to read, they asked some, are there any changes to layup slash dunk timing this year? As you guys know, timing dunks and timing layups, well, timing layups was overpowered. When I mean overpowered, scoop layups, overpowered on NBA 2K24. Crazy. It was so overpowered, you really didn't even need a dunk. And a lot of people, the dunk glitch was overpowered too, especially the standard dunk glitch, where you could use your meter with the centers, come block it. Overpowered. So, he responded to that tweet by saying, layup timing is optional and disabled by default. 
but I'd recommend turning it on if you want to gain an advantage as a slasher. Just like shots, there are separate layup time and profile options. Red player percentage, really don't want to use that. Low, normal, and high, you can customize a setting to match your ability. That was just for layups. Now he was talking about dunks. For dunks, he said, dunk time is always on for skill dunks, but you can still skill dunk without using the particular mechanic. The dunk meter logic has also been improved, so instead of using the window size, being determined just as the start of the dunk, it dynamically adjusts throughout the meter sequence to better reflect the defensive impact. Basically, you mean when you're trying to dunk the ball like you're doing NBA 2K24, and have like a greater impact or a lesser impact depending on the angle of the defense whichever they try to do like if they on your hip probably you can probably get the dunk off still probably better this year hopefully they changed it now people have been talking about rhythm shooting and they asked this question how does shot feedback work with rhythm shooting if you don't know what rhythm shooter is basically rhythm shooter is follow the animation with your right stick so let's just say you shoot the ball with jt right right so you pull the right stick down and when jt's about to release the ball like at his like set point in his jump shot with the visual cue you push the right stick up and that's basically like a new green feature i guess it's like a new green shot feature if you want to use it me i don't know how it's gonna go we'll see how that go but anyway he said push timing is the point where you start to move the pro stick which you want for the movement your player reaches of the set point of the shot basically what i just told y'all so i ain't even gonna go too much of all that but basically it's like it's a boost if you really learn how to use this new rhythm shooter mechanic in nba 2k25 like i said let's see how it goes let's see if people actually use it let's see how great it is if people use it now he did go to twitter and now for twitter they asked because you know they did add nine thousand animations in the game i'm gonna say that one more time nine thousand animations supposedly so they asked him a question and he said supposedly there are 1478 new pro play layups and for the packages that he's talking about for layer packages it's talking about shay Kawhi, tyrese maxi malik monk austin reese clay thompson Vucevic, and wimby don't know how they got all their layer packages people are only going to use probably like a certain amount of layer packages. whichever one is the best that's the one people going to use not going to lie 1400 of them layer packages not getting used a lot of them not getting used but that's past that point now he's talking about dribbling he said there has been a lot of new dribbling from 25 last year to 37 in nba took at 25. i guess they added 12 more new dribble styles Hopefully people use them, we'll see. Now that's all of Mike Swain's tweets just for right now. Like I said, more news will be coming out at a later date. Within the next couple of weeks, really next week too, they're gonna be talking about the My Career trailer and the My Player Builder. So just stay tuned for that news too. But yeah, man, that's really it for this video right here. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you are new to my channel. You feel me? It's been your boy Greg, go crazy, go crazy. And I'm out, man. Peace.